This word is both. Now it says broth. Add an ER to the end and it becomes brother. You've got three different sounds. O, O, and A. And all you need to do is add a letter or two. When people said English was difficult to learn, they weren't kidding. I'm glad I grew up with English as my first language since it happens to be one of the most spoken languages across the globe alongside Mandarin. But English doesn't make any sense. When I was in grade six, it was compulsory to learn phonics. So we hung up these charts in the classroom and every day the class would go over them. Basically, these charts had letters and the sounds that those letters made and pictures to go with the words, like R was er, robot, and T was T, turtle, and it'd have a picture of a turtle. At the end of the week, we'd have a spelling test. And the only words on the list were the ones that were phonetically correct. One of the spelling rules was that a word couldn't end in the letter U. Then my friend said, U ends in the letter U? You can spell U with the letter U at the end? And please note that we had to go over these every day. The English alphabet isn't phonetically consistent. A, B, C, A. First letter in, and I've already got a problem with it. A can say A, A, R, O, and O. Fat, baby, in the bath, or washed. And this is what it's like for all vowels. Vowels are the worst. E, E, E. I, E, I. O, 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 U, A. U, A, U, U, U. It's more than just vowels, too. The useless, letters of the, the useless letters of the alphabet are Q and X. The sounds that Q can make are Qu and K. Quick mosquito. But why don't we just use the letters K and W? X says X. And when it's at the beginning of the word, which is rarely ever, it says Z. The only words that I can think of that start with X are xylophone and xenophobia. Xenos originated from Greek, and English borrows from Latin and Greek, so maybe that's why we have letters like Q and X in the English alphabet. In Latin, C was originally used for G, but when the letter G was introduced, C took the K sound. C, they would modify the alphabet by adding the letter G, but they wouldn't take away the letter C, no, no. Italian stems directly from Latin. Italian doesn't use the letters J, K, W, X, and Y. You know why? because Italian doesn't need those letters. <laughs> in English, C can say K or S. And we've already got letters for those sounds, and those letters are K and S. If it weren't for the Ch sound, the letter C would be utterly useless. Instead of writing cook with a C, we would write cook with a K. And instead of rice with a C, we would write rice with an S. Oh, but that says rise. Well, if the letter S didn't steal the letter Z sound, this wouldn't be an issue. Americans don't write real ice, they write real lies. In British English, they write real lies. Again, Americans don't write urban ice, they write urban nice. Why? Because they spell things the way they're said. So instead of looking up how to cook rice, you would look up how to cook rice. No, I'm joking, you don't look it up. You ask a Filipino, because Filipino people keep cooking rice simple. You just fill the water up to this line right here. They also keep their language systems phonetically simple. My mother's Filipino, and once she decided she wanted to teach me Tagalog, I couldn't count to five. But as I was saying the numbers, Isa, Dalawa, Tatlo, Apat, Lima. Can you hear how consistent it is? Mum, I finally learned how to count to five. <laughs> I is I, A is A, O is O. English? When I count to ten in English, it sounds like one, two, three, four, five. Because somehow this doesn't say own. It says one. <laughs> somehow, foreign English learners are supposed to decipher that this is pronounced two. In prep, when I was in prep, we were learning how to read numbers to ten, and I refused to believe that one was pronounced one, and two was pronounced two. I used to say twa. <laughs> what I also don't understand is why spelling rules were made. It's not, it's not like you can tell when they do or don't apply. And most of the time when they do apply, it's when it's written from Latin or Greek. But I don't know Latin or Greek. And the worst phonics rule was with O-U-G-H. Six different sounds. Though we went through rough troughs, we fought on during the drought. 
No one should bother learning this. This hasn't helped me with anything except for giving this talk right now. <laughs> you know, we even learned silent letter rules. Whoever participated in the invention of English clearly enjoyed themselves because apparently this says yacht. <laughs> that's right, that says yacht. A few years ago, I was at the beach with my family and my brother said, look, there's a yatch. <laughs> English is so confusing, it should change. Maybe in a few centuries it will, I don't know. It would save students so much time wasted on spelling tests. And I understand that English was rooted and derived from Latin and Greek. But I've never met anyone who could actually fluently speak Latin or Greek. So from now on, I'm spelling my words like this. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.